Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is post process blend weight. Let's run through a quick little example. You'll notice my screen is green. Well, I'm using a post process and I'm tinting the screen green. By adjusting the slider, I can adjust the post process blending weight between 0 and 1, 0 being nothing, and 1 being full. And as you can see, it slowly goes from the non green to the green. I can also get the current value. So let's look at the nodes and how this works. First of all, let's pull up the generic character I'm using and let's look at the camera component. On the camera component, we have the post process blend weight, which is what we're talking about. We also have my post processing itself. And here you can see on the camera, I'm tinting it green. The post process blend weight basically indicates how much of post processing should be used between zero and one and that's it. Now, this is not an individual video covering the individual post-process blend weight node because there are actually a few different ones. Let's look at that. So the one I'm using for this example is the set post-processing blend weight node. It takes in as a target a camera component reference and it takes in a value between 0 and 1 or 0 and 100% basically. Now if we were to type in set post Processing blend and uncheck context sensitivity and spell this properly apparently. Let's try this again. Post processing blend. Hmm. So two C's, two D's. What am I doing wrong here? Seriously. Oh, process. Okay. Set process blend. Wait, there we go. It's not processing, it's just process. You'll actually find this a different couple. There is a couple different versions. We have the version I'm using, which is just a function that calls on the camera component, the set post process blend way node. But then you can also send the scene capture set post set post process blend weight. And there's a few other ones in here for such as the post process component itself and a volume. Now, why did I bring that up? Well, I'm telling the camera itself, the camera component to set the blend weight. But I could also just set the same thing if I can select it and do this here, which would basically be setting the property itself, the blend weight. And you notice when I run this, it will give me the same result. So I'm just pointing out there's more than one way to get to this. But you have to make sure that even though these two nodes look identical right here and right here, they are not. This one targets the camera component and this one targets the scene capture component. So keep that in mind. If you have troubles, make sure you're using context sensitivity or make sure that you have the correct target. And that's pretty much going to be it. I just wanted to point out the differences. That was the majority of the video. But the set post process blend weight allows you to take a post process on a camera and set how much of it is active between zero and one. Like for example, let's say we turned on, uh, let's just make this more green, why not? There we go, we'll make it more green. We'll hit play. You'll notice it's super green now. And I can change it. Uh, assuming I plugged it back in. Hey, look, there you go. And it changes. And then when we just get it, like a normal getter node, you can see the value, which as you can see matches my slider. So that's it. That is our set post process blend weight node. Make sure you spell it properly, not post processing. You will notice that it is called post process, even though post processing is the general name for it. it. Takes in a zero to one value and it changes how much of that post processing is displayed on your camera target. 